Okay, so we'll go through the operation of the Sonal MIC30 insulation tester. First thing I'm going to do is set up the timestamps that this meter has, whereas the other insulation testers have specific DAR and PI buttons to select those ratios. This meter doesn't have that. What it does have, if I hit the set button, is three timestamps. So the first one is 30 seconds, 60 and 600. So that's set up for a standard DAR test and PI test. And I can adjust these to any value I like. So I can turn these down. Whichever setting I want can be set to either of these three values here. What I do like about this uh, facility, instead of having to go all the way back down to uh, 60 seconds, which I had to do with this one, if I go all the way up to the 600, it will then cycle around to zero. And the next one is 61, which is the next one up from the previous time absorption ratio. So it's a little bit quicker setting up these values straight back to 600 again. So that's quite a nice feature for doing that. So once they're all set, you hit the enter button and that takes me back to the actual insulation test. I'm set up for a 500 volt test. I'm connected up over here to the winding simulator. This is a standard polarization index test. So I've got one lead on one of the windings. The other lead is on the back here on the earth stud. And because I have a guard terminal on this tester, I can select the shielded test lead and link them two out to avoid any leakage between the leads. And to start it off, once your absorption ratios are set, as I said, there's no dial or pi function, so it's just a straight start. Um, and to get this to hold on, you have to hit the start, hold it down, and then hit the enter key to get the meter to lock on. Okay, so if start time button, hit the lock, and we will let it test away. We'll just wait to go to 30 seconds. So 30 seconds is the first timestamp. You'll see it'll have a slightly longer beep to warn you it's hit a timestamp. There you go. But it doesn't actually freeze the display, so it's no easier to actually take a reading from the display manually. Um, whilst it is in operation, you can go back to the set button again. You've got the voltage up here. If I hit the set button, then it changes it to the current reading or back between the voltage. And that's the only item you can actually change on the display whilst you're in test. The time stamp is over here, just counting upwards on this particular meter, and then the insulation reading, uh, and that is it. Okay, so we're into the final minute of the test. First thing you notice is that the screen has been darkened. The meter turns the backlight off after around about six minutes of operation. If you want to do it manually, the small quick press of the on button itself and it brings it on. There is a second setting as well if you want that and we can turn it off. But that setting seems quite adequate for this test. And <clears throat> what I will do, this meter as do all insulation testers these days, go into a discharge to get rid of any residual voltage after the test. Um, what this particular meter does is it will monitor that and it will go into alarm mode. So there's the final test, it's finished that, it's gone into a discharge and in a few seconds time it won't have discharged quickly enough and it will move into a voltage detect mode. There it goes, so now it's gone into voltage detect, so it's measuring the voltage now. Um, the only reason why it's doing this really is because the simulator has a more capacitive characteristic rather than an inductive that a motor would normally have. So unless you're doing something like a power factor correction capacitor, you wouldn't have this issue and it would just go straight to discharge within a few seconds and then go straight to the reading it's just made. Get rid of that voltage that goes down to zero. To get back to the results from the test you've just carried out, hit the enter button and it takes you back there. And these are the readings that I have. You can then scroll through the various parameters that it read. There's the 30 second insulation reading. It goes up to the one minute one and then up to the 10 minute one. And it shows you the current at each one of those. Then moves on to the absorption ratios. It knows that the 3060 is classic DAR and then pi ratio there. And then to save all of those, we'll hit the 
enter key we can go back to the bank uh, if we want to change that or we've run out of number of cells but I've got nothing used in this memory so just hit enter again and it goes straight into that memory cell and that is a polarization index test completed using the Sonal MIC30.